all right so we're on my screen now so all you have to do is to go to your search engine i am using google so all we're going to do is to type in gs1 barcode on google now once you've done that it's going to bring you to this page yes so we're just going to click on this other page i didn't click on this ones at the top because they are sponsored so let's just go to the main site for gs1 barcode and we're going to click on that We're just going to let that load all right so now we are on their website i'm just going to accept all optional cookies yep now this is what their site looks like as you can see but where we are interested in now is getting our gs1 barcode so i'm just going to click on that all right now this is very important please take note of this i know we can get tempted to say oh, okay but i'm in nigeria i'm in ghana i mean um in, in this country or that country but what i recommend is when you're getting a barcode select the location of us the united states because that's where you are going to be selling majorly at so it's advisable to do that because for the nigerian market that mostly what you get is a jitin which a bit, a bit complicated but for an easy process go with the gs1 us barcode so i'm just going to click on get a barcode after i had selected location now um this is the site as you can see gs1 us i it was if it was a nigerian site to be gs1 nigeria but we are on gs1 us basically so now um I'm just going to quickly run through this so you understand how you can calculate how many barcodes that you need so you do not make a mistake. Now, from this image, you see here, the first one says sizes. It has a small, medium, large. Now, say you had three sizes that you wanted to sell. That means you're getting three different barcodes. One barcode for the small size, one barcode for the medium size, and one barcode for the large size. That's what it means. Now, you have three different sizes and you have three different colors you're also going to get different barcodes for each of these different colors because it makes it easier for amazon to tell which product is which product it makes it easier as well so when your client orders say a medium size in pink or a medium size in red or a medium size in this they can't help because the barcode is going to signify that okay these barcodes are for medium sizes in red you understand so let's say you have medium sizes in pink that's a different barcode medium sizes in blue a different barcode medium sizes in in purple a different barcode basically so that's what this means and now say you have three different styles so here you can see it has a short sleeve the long sleeve the medium length yes so now there are three different styles so they don't mix up you're getting three different barcodes as well for these three different styles as well now in terms of packaging say okay if there's a one piece there's a two piece there's a three piece set now for the one piece set is one barcode for the two piece set it's not two barcode because it's a set is a two piece set that comes together in one packaging so that is one pack barcode not two barcodes it's a set so it's one barcode then for the three piece set it's not three barcode because it's a piece set it's a set it comes together as one so that is one barcode so basically somebody had three different sizes three different colors three different styles three different packages best going to be getting 81 barcodes so that is how this works basically and then um it also explains here a bit more so you can take a look at that in your free time and read it to understand a bit better however if you're if you're not sure how many barcodes you need you can leave a comment down below letting me know what and what you want so then i could be of help if that's okay then you can leave a message you can leave a comment in the description down below and i'll be there to respond to you as soon as i can now um this is it basically okay here it also says if you need more help in figuring out how many barcodes you need you can use the barcode estimator so you can also try that out if you want to know how many barcodes you'll be needing now um but we're not we don't need the jitsis so we're just going to skip that now this is where it's very important now say for example you've calculated and you realize that okay i need 10 barcodes or i need nine barcodes you're going to fall under the category of 10 basically so how the calculator is you, if, you're, if you're getting one barcode or if you're getting one to ten barcodes or ten to a hundred barcode and all of that so um say you needed like five barcodes basically we're going for the ten 
But if you need a one or just one barcode for just one item, you can opt in for the GS1 USGT. And that one doesn't have a renewal fee. So um you just buy it once and you don't have to renew it. However, that's a whole different process. But for this video, we're talking on the G we are speaking on the GS1 barcodes basically, and those ones have a renewal fee. So when I started off, I started off with the 10 10 barcodes and i got that for 250 dollars so the renewal fee is 50 dollars now um i know there are some other barcodes that's quite cheaper um that's a nationwide barcode and all of that but this is the barcode amazon um amazon recommends so it's best to just follow their rule and you know go with what they've asked you to do basically but if you want to you know if you want to play it safe, stick to JS1 back. However, if you want to you know, live on the wild side, you can go ahead to the nationwide back because I believe this was the quite cheaper compared to JS1. So going on with this video, basically, once you've calculated the um, total number of um, barcodes you need, you can now have an idea of what the fee is and what the renewal fee is, basically. Now, um, let's just take a look at this. Um, so you're going to this is the process basically you select your gs1 company prefix and put them into your cards provide your contact information and then you pay basically you fill up the w9 w9 form basically so now we are not getting a gtn so we're getting a prefix we're getting a prefix so we're just going to click on here click on here to get the prefix all right so basically we've calculated say we've calculated how many we need say you need 90 or 99 you're going for the 750 dollars with the renewal fee of 150 dollars now mind you this your business is an investment and this is a yearly fee now this fee is a one-time fee of 250 dollars however the renewal fee is 50 dollars and of course if you calculate the amount of profits you'll be making at the end of each year it's almost insignificant this price is almost insignificant so if you're here for the long game and you're here to make profits and you want to make sure everything is in order I would advise you strongly to go ahead with the GS1 barcode because it's definitely going to be a great investment for your business with greater returns and it's going to give you peace of mind basically. Now, you selected that. So now we're going to now select the number of barcodes we'll be needing. Say we need 100 or we need 990, we can go ahead and click on that and then it's going to give you the fee. Um, the fee basically for that. So here you can see here it's $2,500. So it shows you that. And then here it says, does your company require the food and drug administration? So basically there are some items that have, like you have to go through extra processes. So you're saying food or drug, it has to go through some processes because those are things that people put into their mouths basically. And they need to make sure that everything is follows like a health protocol and all of that. But for um, this video, I'm focusing on people that are saying like, um, other items that doesn't have to do with food or drug related so but if yours has to do with food if you're the items you're selling are food or drug related you click on the you click on the button so indicates that yes this item are uh, food and drug related basically so now that we're not doing that we're going to just click on add to cart and then um it should show us what we need basically so here it's, it shows you here that it has um it shows you here the pricing for a thousand upc and all of that so once we've gotten this we're going to click on checkout now i'm already signed in so if you're already signed in you can just click on sign in however if you're not yet signed in you can click on continue as new okay now this is very important so you're going to fill up all your information here your your company name your phone number um address and all of that now never mind if your company isn't registered you can just still put in your information and all of that that's the name you're going to be using on your um on your amazon store or wherever you're selling and then email address is very important because what happens is once you click on um confirm order once you've paid for these items and you've confirmed your order they are going to send you some information to your email now please take note of this this was a mistake that i almost made when i was um when i was getting my gs1 barcodes which was they had given me the 10 um 10 barcode numbers and i luckily for me i saved it immediately because after 
after I had gone out from the page where I had the 10 barcodes, after I had gone out from the page, I, I, I found it quite difficult to locate those barcodes again. So once you get it, once you've paid for it, they're going to automatically give you the 10 barcodes, assign it to you. Please save that somewhere, take a screenshot, save it, email it to yourself, back it up or whatnot, because it's a bit hard to locate it again. I, well, I, I wasn't able to, but if you're able to locate it, then that's good for you. But I'd advise strongly that you save it immediately, you are you are giving those barcodes. So say you're getting like a thousand barcodes or so, save it immediately so that you do not um get that missing. So once you've gotten the barcode, that will be it. And then you change it, you go to Amazon, where Amazon then change those uh upc barcodes to fnsku so you can sell on amazon with those barcodes now these barcodes as well you can use it to sell on other platforms say ebay you can sell on ebay with it as well or um any other online store basically but for this video the purpose of it is to be sold on amazon so in my next video i'm going to be showing you how you can switch it from the um gs1 barcodes to the um amazon barcodes which are the fnsku basically so thank you for sticking with me through this so thank you for sticking with me through to the end of this video and like i mentioned earlier if you have any issues calculating your barcode number you can leave a comment in the description down below and i'll be there to assist you as soon as i can and yes please like and subscribe if you've gotten to this end and see you in my next video bye